the Saturn trial compared two potent doses of an intensive statin therapy and looked at an intermediate marker, uh, not a clinical endpoint, but an intermediate marker, and that is plaque volume. So I don't think this really changes much in terms of my approach to clinical practice uh, because uh, you know intensive statin therapy, I think, is where we should be for our patients with cardiovascular disease. Um, I think it's interesting that we don't see a significant change in plaque volume, but that's never really been correlated with clinical outcomes anyway. I think the more interesting mechanistic aspects of this study would come when we see data about what happens to the fibrous cap of these plaques, what happens to the lipid content of these plaques, because those are better markers of vulnerability of plaque to cause secondary events. I, I think it's further evidence. We have already substantial evidence of the safety of high-dose statins, uh, particularly uh, related to atorvastatin, but I think increasing data related to rosuvastatin as well. Uh, so my hope is that, that by piling on here and showing additional safety data, uh, physicians will become increasingly comfortable that we can use these medications at potent doses to achieve maximal LDL lowering uh, and really improve the benefit for our patients. I think it's really a game changer. I think if, if the payers will move to include uh, atorvastatin among their uh, class one medications that we can now use for our patients uh, easily, uh, we'll get many more patients to lower LDL levels uh, with a safe and well-tolerated drug, and that's where we'll actually have an impact in reducing events further.